Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you the development dependencies for the rest of the semester. The steps that we're going to see is going to happen in a Mac computer. I will release an extra video for a Windows computer. And the steps are going to be similar. Well, actually, the tools are going to be really similar. But the steps are the ones that are going to be a little bit different how the stone. So you have a Mac computer, follow up this video. So the first thing that we are going to need, and yeah, we are already supposed to have, is Visual Studio Code. We are already installed in the last video. As you can see right now in my computer, actually I have a fresh uh, Mac OS installation in order to show you how to install it. And in order to install it, just download for Mac and continue. In my particular case, I like to have another version installed called Insiders. That is a little more latest release. Um, it could be a little bit buggy, but in my particular case, I like it. So I will install this one. It's actually the same step as the one that I was showing you before. The links are going to be on the description. So pretty much you click to install. You can actually open it or save it. In my case, I want to open it. It's going to be downloaded. And then in my downloads, let me actually send the screen over there. Download it, extract it, going to have this, and the only thing I need to do is send them to my applications. That's it. And to open Visual Studio Code, we can open the spotlight through the magnificent glass or we can hit space command spacebar and put code for example and it's going to be open for us the first time we will just ask you this you just say open and visual studio code has been installed excellent The next thing that we are going to do is actually install Node.js. Node.js is a packet manager, is, is a way to execute JavaScript on the server side. At the beginning, JavaScript when it born, it was just to execute code on the browsers. A way to make to execute on your computer or make execute in a server side environment, Node.js was born. If you took my previous class for server programming, probably you already have Node.js installed, so you can skip this part. If you don't, you can actually just download it and install it from here. Or do one extra step that I'm actually going to be doing because it's actually how I like it to have it, is install my node through MVM, Node Version Manager. This will help me because this is my personal computer, to have several versions of nodes depending, uh, depending on the applications that we're going to be developing and this is the way that we're going to use it and it actually will show you how to do or how to execute it this way in order to do it we need to execute something on the terminal so in the installation and update I just need to copy this section let me put it the right and let me open my terminal of course, you need to type terminal in the spoiler to have it. Let me increase the font size in order to be able to see it. And let me put it to the left. Excellent. Before we continue, we type pwd to see if we are in a user comp in a user directory. Our user directory in the Mac computer is going to be users for a slash the username that you are right now. So in my case, I'm already there. We need to verify if we have a particular file and that's called bash rc. So we're going to type cat dot bash rc and we're going to see if it's or or is not. In my case, it say that this file doesn't exist. That means that we need to create it. In order to create it, we just need to put it like an empty file. To create a file here, we just put 
touch and the name of the file. The name of the file is going to be that. Really important to have the dog at the beginning. Bash RC. Click enter. And if we execute the cat again, we will see anything there because we have the file empty already there. Perfect. When that happened, we just copy this script, paste it, and click enter. Probably will require, it depends on your computer, if you need to install some JIT and Xcode information, you say yes to the, the, the bottom to the right, and we'll install something about Xcode in order to help you develop your system. That's fine. In my case, because I already had it, it didn't ask me that section. So after we have MVM, we need to source or bash RC. We need to type source dot bash RC in order to get a re-render that particular file. Where we are doing that, let me show you the content. If I do a cut again, that file does not have some kind of content that is actually showing over here. This will help us to actually execute MVM. So if we type MVM and we have some kind of output, that means that the installation was successful. So now that the installation was successful, we need to install Node. Remember, we just told the manager, now we need to install the application. So we just put MVM, install Node, until we actually install the latest version for my. We want to download the package, we want to compile it, and just put it there. Excellent. We can test it, put in node-v, and because it showed me there, that means that Node.js has been installed. Perfect. Node.js, how it works, um, is execute that JavaScript, Java, JavaScript files on the server side. A companion for Node.js is a package manager. Node package manager is called npm. If we execute npm and dash b, we will have a version there. That means that npm came with our Node.js implementation. That's pretty cool. But in this particular course, we are going to use it another package manager that is called Yarn. You can stick with Node with npm if you like it. I will actually give the codes during the semester. But if you want to follow the video the same way that I do, I recommend you to go and install Yarn. To install Yarn, we just need to click on Actually, there you go. You need to click on install yarn. It will detect the Mac OS version. I don't like to have the stable one. I actually like to have it nightly. And it will give me this command. So I just copy over. It's really similar to the one that we have for MVM. And we paste it. Click enter. With you yarn dash b. If yarn was not found, let's actually source dot bash rc again, and then with you yarn dash b, we see the version that we have installed. It. Perfect. So for this video lab, let me actually clear my screen. What I want you to show me is a screenshot of your terminal with this command. You need to execute git dash that dash version, I believe. Yes, it should show you something. You took no dash v, npm dash v, and yarn dash v. So I want a screenshot of the terminal with these four commands showing the different output. That means that the installation and the setup were successful. If you have any question or doubt,
Don't hesitate to reach me and I will solve all those questions. I wish everybody luck and happy coding. Bye.